So, um, black screen. I didn't mean to start it on black screen. That's okay. Anyway, floor 15. I think we're getting close to the end. I think there's only 15 floors. I think, I think so. I think there's 16, I think. No, Thursday. Thank you. Well, considering I saw, like, maybe eight orbs on this one, and yeah. we have only, like, two things left. Yeah, I don't think I don't think there's much left. Yeah, there, there shouldn't be much. Hello, left. Halloween. Uh, there, there's this, and I wouldn't put it past them to throw, like, one specialty floor. Probably. Uh, before a boss. I've already had both specialty floors, though, so... Well, uh, do you think we might bump into uh, young Sephiroth again? Uh, I don't think in this one, no. Okay. I don't he, think he learned his lesson. I don't think he bumps into you till later in the game. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, huh. Judging by your hair, you look like an important character. Fine! Is that how you want to do it Thursday? <laughs> Dodge this. Whatever. Whatever. I've already got that. Alright, I need a hammer. Like a good hammer. Or the fish. Or the fish. Because I'm curious about the fish. Uh, you'll see the fish. Oh, that's right. That's what, uh, that's what, what's this? The guy I'm looking for, uh, the last guy. He's, uh, he's the one who gives you the fish. Alright, ready? Customize. Let's upgrade you! Come on, Dusak! That's a weird name for... I'm doing this one, I think, is what I'm doing. Oh, good! I just need fire, and then attack. Nice. Fire. Fire. I don't have any attack. I can okay. go. I can go buy it. Yeah, from uh, from our uh, market friend. Yeah, from uh, yeah, from First Town. Yeah. Look, you're learning. You're remembering stuff. Yeah, it only it only took me five months, but you know I'm getting it. Yeah. You mean it only took you a couple days? So yeah, yeah. So it only took yeah. me a couple of days. You know, it only, took, it only took me a brief holiday break. You know, to study up a bit. You got to study up a bit though. Not a damn bit. Good. <laughs> Oh, hello, King Prickly. About to say you can, you can, yeah, you can ask some of my former teachers about the studying over the weekend and how successful that is. Nobody ever did. Do like, uh, do like they do out in Las Vegas. You know, Molly's out there. I think I told you this. I don't know if I was told this on this channel or not, but they, they are required not to give homework at night. Yeah, you told me this, and that, I just couldn't that, believe that. That, 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 that all work. And all studying needs to be done in the classroom. Or all classwork needs to be done. You know, all work needs to be done in the classroom. So there was no homework assigned. Yeah, I think they're trying to go off of um, environmental memory. Uh, in that the, the more you stuck, the more your surroundings stay the same with what you're doing, the more likely you are to remember it. Yeah. I think they might be trying to go for that. But, like, I, I felt really bad for the kids in my home county because we've been we've been having a lot of weird weather on the East Coast, if you yeah. haven't noticed. Um, and uh, especially here in North Carolina, uh, there was uh, a lot of weird weather with snow and ice. And um, they it actually... snowed one day and it was 70 degrees two days later, just so. Yep, yeah, it, was, it was snow one day. It iced overnight to where there was just a sheet of ice on a lot of roads the next day. The day after that, it was 60, it was 68 degrees. Yeah. And, you know, all that's going on. But, like, during that snow day, and, uh, dear, and then immediately going back into a cold snap after that heat, um, a, a, a lot of the schools actually had to close for mm -hmm. those days. But... One problem was that it was exam time. Ah. It was. It was. Yeah. It was end of. It was end of uh, nine weeks testing and end of semester testing. Because for some reason they they decided to move the end of semester testing after the break. Yeah, till after break, which makes no sense to me, but that's what they do. But because of that break, they literally went from having their first exam be on. Uh, Friday. Yeah. To, so they had four days to, you know, do the catch-up and restudy. To not having that day, not having three of those study days, mm -hmm. and then not having that test day, and having to go into the next mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. And that actually had another day off and another two days because of weather. So it was like two weeks. <laughs> Before, since any of them had proper study time 
in a classroom before they had their end of term tests. I probably didn't do very well because of it. I don't know. I just know I felt really bad for them because that's just like a perfect <laughs> storm of uh, let's roll the dice and see how you do, <laughs> kids. Good luck. Hopefully you retained everything you learned. Honestly, I mean, what's what else gives a teacher to do in that situation? Except go, oh lord, please tell me they re they remembered something. But unfortunately, because of the system now... Oh, I still got another floor to do! Oh, damn. Alright, so back to... Back, anyway, keep going. Yeah, is that unfortunately the system now in America is not focused on learning. It, it's focused on remembering the things you need to remember, throwing them up on a test, and moving on. Moving yeah, on. yeah. Retention is, is no longer a key element. It's just getting them to get the information at least once. Which is almost completely counterproductive to when, like, I was in school. They wanted you to retain this. It's like, I don't care if you have to do it 30 times in one day. It's, we're gonna beat it into your brain one way or another. <laughs> Except well, I've noticed it, I've noticed that they keep also changing the way to do it, and maybe they may find better ways to do it. But like when you had the discussion with math in school, mm -hmm. when you were ever doing math at uh, your homework, and you parents you asked your parents to help you, you know, help you find stuff. When they would look at it, they would tell you that they never did any of this in school. Yeah, that it was completely different than how they learned how to do it. And now it's going back the same way that they're now teaching them new ways to do it. Mm -hmm. And so now even us doing it, I mean, we know how to do it, but we don't know how to do it the way that they want it taught. Yeah. So we can get the answer, but it's not correct because it's not the way that they taught you how to do it. God damn it! All these king mimics. Yeah, it's 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 not the way they want it to be. Yeah. No. Which is so weird when you think about it. It's like, well, shouldn't the knowledge be the same regardless? Yeah. And like, no. Yeah, uh, I actually, I actually found that out the hard way from um, from being a substitute mm -hmm. uh, because I was subbing for a math class and uh, they were left a worksheet and I tried to go through one of the problems on the board and I got them the correct answer. Yeah. But when they're as they're watching me work through this, like we have never seen this before in our lives. Our math teacher does it completely different. And I'm like, well, son of a bitch, yeah. like. What am I supposed to tell them? Like, yeah. don't listen to your teacher? Yeah. So, I'm like, yeah, well, I that, guess that, I need to just shut the hell up then. That'll definitely get you cold back. Yeah. No, actually, it was one of the kids from that math class that, um, I actually subbed at the same school again, but in another classroom. Yeah. Uh, this kid walked into this classroom, saw me, and went, nope, and walked back out. And I go over to the doorway yeah. and just stare at him as he's in the hallway going, looking back and forth, trying yeah. to figure out his options as all the students are going into rooms. And he's like, I can either go in there or I can go to the office. And I just look at him and I just went, we're not doing any math today if that makes you feel better. <laughs> and he goes, okay. And he walked in. <laughs> and I'm like, how did that make you feel? You know, uh, it's kind of <laughs> oh, Yeah. But a part of me was a little offended at first, but then I'm like, no, this kid's scared of me. This is good. I'm, I'm okay with this. It's like, if, if that's the reaction I can garner, you know, it's not 100% bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I ever had a substitute. I take that back. We had one substitute teacher we had that everybody loved. Not because he was good at what he did, he was an old guy. And he, w he went to my church, actually, for a long time before he passed away, but he substitute T taught. And one of the kids in my class saw he was an old guy and um, thought he'd make a joke because he didn't think the guy would understand it. He asked the guy, while we were in class, while we were doing our work, as a joke, tell us a story about the war. Not knowing he was a former Air Force pilot. Oh no. And so, he would tell stories about what, what it was like being in the Air Force during World War II. 
Nice. And so he would come in, and they were, they were great stories. They're very, you know, told. So every time he got picked to be a substitute teacher, he would never do anything in class, but they would always ask him to tell stories. And so it got to the point where so the other teachers started catching on. So to do it, they instead of bringing him in, they would just bring him in one day a year and have him talk about all the war stuff. It was always interesting learning, but it was just funny. The, the guy was making a joke to pick fun at the teacher and it turned into a actual thing. Yeah, a really awesome day. Yeah. Uh, it was actually with us. A, a lot of weird misunderstandings happen with me in my life, yeah. as I've discovered. But one of the weirdest that took a lot of explaining to get rid of was with a substitute teacher. Uh, I was in uh, eighth grade. And we had a substitute. What no one else in that classroom knew was that my brother, my older brother, was dating this substitute teacher's daughter. Oh! And so the night before, um, she had actually come over to our house and had dinner with us. Oh, oh no. You know, brother, you know, bringing girlfriend over for dinner. You know, oh, nothing no. unusual. I know where this is going. Go yeah. But, uh, she, uh, came over and it was a nice time but next day in class here's her mom and I'm like hi you know, we know this no one else does because sure enough she says and I quote so Cameron did my daughter behave herself last night no. followed by everyone in this room turning very <laughs> slowly to look at me going what the hell is she talking about? What is going on in this room right now? It's like, no, 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 my brother, my brother is dating her daughter. Wait, that doesn't even, that doesn't even sound that good when I say it like that. <laughs> so. Hey, maybe I'll get something. Explosion. It, it was poison. It. That's okay. What I is can, all these poison I traps? can fix that. I think I can. I can fix that. Ugh. Even though I could probably just switch characters right now. That was a waste of a thing, but that's okay. Just open. Oh, it's poison. Come on, hammer! Maybe. Yeah! Ha! I got a magical hammer! Sweet! It's not just a hammer. It's, it's a, a magical, magical hammer. Alright, let's see here. Alright, this seems like a good place to end it. I'm not being attacked by anything. I can get out, and when we return, I will be finishing up Mataki village. Taki right. Taki or whatever it's called. Whatever the hell it's called, it will should be complete. We'll complete it when we get back. Alright, All right. everybody. So we'll see you guys later. Later.